Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be picking out a new motorcycle helmet. My current helmet is a Rorock Atlas version 2.0. I originally picked this helmet because I thought it looked cool and it's carbon fiber so it's really lightweight and has really good airflow in the summer. Now I've had this helmet for just over a year now and unfortunately it really isn't holding up very well so it's time to find something new. So I'm replacing this helmet for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all is the fit. It fit fine when I first got it, but no longer fitting good. And when I contacted Rorock, they let me know that there are no thicker pads that can be used for this helmet. So another thing I'm having trouble with is the comfort liner. When I go to put the helmet on, the liner pops out of place. Now, to be fair, I did contact Rorock, and even though the helmet is out of warranty, they sent me some replacement poppers, which is what they call these little plastic tabs that go and hold the comfort liner in place. But these things are really thin plastic and the hole that they mount into um, is actually showing wear as well. So the poppers don't really stay in place uh, even though they're new. So for the new helmet, I definitely wanted to go with a brand that's well known for comfort and safety. So I ended up going with a couple of helmets from Arai. Both of these helmets are intermediate oval shaped, just like all of my previous helmets. Unfortunately, I can't test both of these on the road because I can only keep one of them. So I'm going to have to pick one based on initial fit only. The other one's going back. So I'll do a quick unboxing on these just so you can see what's inside. The first one I picked up is the Arai XD4. This is a dual sport helmet and I thought it might go well with the new NC750X and any future adventure bikes I might pick up. The helmet itself is fairly lightweight. It's not carbon fiber, but it's still really lightweight. The comfort liner, cheek pads, and neck roll feel really high quality. The XD4 has a lot of options as far as uh, if you want to take the peak off of here and use it more like a traditional helmet, or you can leave the peak on and take the visor off and wear it with goggles. It's pretty much up to you. Taking the visor or the peak off does require a tool or at least a coin that you can use to pull these screws out of here. Now with the helmet on my head, I noticed that the D-rings feel a little bit too close to the padding. I, I think this has a, a thicker neck roll that extends down um, further, like past the jawline, and it kind of gets in the way of the D-rings. Finally, the color, when I looked at this online on multiple websites, it looked like it was red, but when you get it in person, it looks more orange, and it definitely does not fit the red that's on my bike. It's still a great looking helmet and again the paint job is probably the best I've ever seen but just keep that in mind if you're looking for red this may not be exactly what you're looking for. All right the second helmet I picked up today is the Arai Defiant X. So this is more of a traditional street helmet and I think this would look great on all different kinds of bikes. 
It's less expensive than the XD4, mainly because of the color that I chose. This is the frost black color. And it comes with an included pin lock insert. Initial thoughts on the Arai Defiant X. I think the exterior looks great. Um, even though this isn't a fancy paint job, the paint quality is really good. Again, nice lightweight on this helmet. It's not carbon fiber, but it is slightly lighter than the XD4, so I'm liking this one a lot better. Same high quality internal comfort liner, uh, cheek pads and neck roll. Uh, this helmet does seem to fit my head better than the XD4, especially around the neck area. The visor on this helmet, way easier to swap out. It is a toolless design. You have these little plastic pods on the side that uh, just pop out of the way and you can swap the visor out, pop the pods back into place and you're good to go. No issues with the D-rings on this helmet. The pads are out of the way and don't get in the way of securing the helmet. Overall, this is a very comfortable helmet. The headliner fits perfect. I don't get any up and down movement, but the cheek pads feel a little bit loose for me in this extra large helmet. And before I made this video, I did pick the same helmet up in large size, thinking the pads would be a little bit thicker. But with further research, I found out that they use the same 20 millimeter size cheek pads on both the large and the extra large helmets. And the large size helmet itself was so tight that I could barely fit it over my ears. They do sell cheek pads in various thicknesses on the Arai website. So I'm thinking some 25 millimeter thick pads would probably solve my problem. Again, the helmet isn't really loose, but to get a perfect fit, I think I would need a little bit thicker cheek pads. So out of both of these helmets, it looks like the Defiant X will be going on the test ride today. So I actually had to postpone the test ride on this helmet for a few weeks because I decided to upgrade my cameras. So I'm, I'm using the GoPro Hero 10s now for the helmet cam and the handlebar cam. So I wasn't able to, uh, I, I did test the helmet out prior to getting the new cameras installed, so I said I was going to, to test it out on the road before hooking up my cameras, and I did do that, but unfortunately I wasn't able to record it. This is the first time I'm testing this with the microphone inside the helmet, so I'm not sure how bad the wind noise is going to be. First thing I noticed that this helmet is so much more comfortable than my previous one. And while I do notice a bunch of wind noise, it's not the same kind of wind noise. It's not coming up from underneath the helmet. It's uh, just the wind bouncing off the, the front and the sides of the helmet. It's pretty standard. You're, you're gonna get that wind bouncing off the outside of the helmet no matter which one you have. So that's nothing new here. Also notice that my head doesn't seem to be bouncing around as much with this helmet on. I think it's a lot more aerodynamic than my last one. I'm just doing a short ride on the freeway right now and I'm recording a video so I don't have my earplugs in but normally I would be wearing them. Um, a commute back and forth to work, I probably wouldn't need to. Um, I think it's quiet enough that I wouldn't have any sound issues just riding normal surface streets. It all comes down to whatever makes you comfortable. Now I mentioned on the initial fitment that I thought the cheek pads might be a little bit loose, but after wearing this for a few days, I'm not experiencing any issues with uh, excess movement of the helmet on my head. So I'm gonna hold off on buying new cheek pads right now at this time. I think these are gonna work out really good for me. Yeah, surface streets, the wind noise is really not an issue at all. So I don't think I'm gonna be needing to wear my earplugs when I go on my commute rides. So after spending a couple weeks with this helmet, I'm really happy with my purchase. Glad that I chose the Arai Defiant X. Well guys, it looks like I have my new Motovlog set up. I did order the 
extended chin curtain that that's available as a, an optional purchase for this helmet i don't currently have it installed right now so hopefully the audio is okay but if there's uh, any excessive wind noise in this recording hopefully that extended chin curtain will help so if you like this video or found it helpful please click that like button and i will see you guys on the next one